Hey folks, this is Nod, and we're playing Farming Simulator 2017. Alright, uh, quick video, I'm going to do some potato farming. I have a field here with uh, potatoes in it. And um, yeah, I just did a couple of other fields, and this one is ready to remove tops. So we're going to go over to field 12 and do that. I have leased at great expense, although not as much as for buying this thing, uh, this giant potato harvesting monstrosity. I got the expensive one that does it all at once. I've had some issues with the other, uh, let's see, the potato harvesting. Yeah, I got this one, which is ridiculously expensive, but it costs about, yeah, about 37,000 to lease it, which is still a lot cheaper than um, 429,000. Anyway, yeah, I've tried these, you know, you can rent this one, which is a lot less, but um, it requires this topping thing to put on the front of the tractor, and then you put this on the back. And I've had issues with uh, using the helpers with this. They get confused about what task they're doing. So I've been trying out this full-blown one, which is all in one. Does everything all together. Does the topping and picking up the potatoes. And uh, this seems to be much more helper-friendly. Anyway, so I've leased that. So I want to get on with this because um, time is uh, ticking, you know, and I'm spending a lot of money here. So, um, all right, so I got that. I got me a truck to haul my spuds. And we'll get into what all this nonsense is back here in a minute. But uh, let's head on over to field 12, I believe it is. So I'm going to use the Follow Me app. Get this little combine going down the road here. slow because this potato hauler is not exactly zippy. Uh, okay, I'm gonna fold this up. Uh, do anything? Ah, there we go. I love where this thing folds. It's just completely nuts. Who designs this stuff? Farming equipment just never ceases to amaze me. I mean, just even thinks this stuff up. Look at that way that folds. Very cool. Okay, anyway, let's get this convoy on the road here. This thing drives crazy. He's got this giant casting casting wheel in the back for steering, and the thing will actually pretty much turn on a dime. Unfortunately, that makes it kind of squirrely to drive it. Ah, what can you do? All right, everyone following? Yes, they are. All right. That's the best way to go here. Let's go the exciting way and go back of the pigs here. As you can see, I'm on Goldcrest Valley. This is a slightly modified map. Uh, I've been playing around with the Giants editor a little bit. Set it up for seasons so I can have snow and whatnot. Uh, snow mask and whatnot. Um, and I added a couple of buildings here and there, but basically it's a stock map. I have no pigs. Not doing pigs this time around. Got sheep and we got cows though. Oh boy, that's going awful fast back there. Slow down, you crazy things. Oh, she's getting a bit squirrely. Okay, yeah, looks good to me. All right, moving on. I hope we can get up this hill, actually. Looks good so far. This is going to be the steep part here. I think it's going down on the other side. Might be a bit of an issue. That's nah, it's handling it like a boss. Hopefully everyone else will get around this crazy part here. Good. All righty, then. Let's head on down to field 12, and we'll set up. Very good. All right, here's our field. So we need to figure out where I actually want to be here. That's a lot of spuds. You guys going to be able to stop? Yeah, OK. All right, where's the best place? Actually, I'm going to set up in the yard down here, I think. This is the main farm on uh, Goldcrest Valley. I'm sure everyone's familiar with, although mine is a little different. As I said, I modified it very slightly. Actually, most of the modifications on this map are right here. But... Alright, we're going to set up down here, I think. Almost ready to go. Yeah, I love 
the fall in this game. It's just so busy, so much to do. It's kind of fun. All right, let's bring him one over here. All right, let's get you out of the way. All right, you can chill out there for a sec. So this is a mod, uh, I forget the name of it, it's a slow conveyor or something or other. Um, basically it's just a, it's another one of these conveyor scooping up things, which is kind of handy. It's a little bit bigger than the uh, stock one. And I got obviously a, a car a tipper on the back here, so anyway, let's go set this up somewhere. shortly. Alright, let's set this baby up. This is like any other conveyor, you can actually get inside it, which is a bit odd. Let's start the engine. Let's see if I can barely work this thing. Alright, that goes up. here. She in the middle somewhere. Looks pretty good. Alright, so that's set up to gather spuds. Now we have to go go harvest them. Ah, oh, I love this machine. Don't want to own it, but it's fun to rent. <laughs> but yeah, it's crazy. Look at the steering on this thing. Yeah, look at this. You can literally spin on a on a dime. Oh, how crazy is that? <laughs> the weird thing is, is the helpers really don't take advantage of this crazy turning circle. Ah, we'll see in a minute. I was kind of disappointed. I was like, this thing can literally turn on its uh, turn on a dime, but helpers are not so good with it. All right, I'm gonna use the GPS mod to set up here. Lined up the side of the field. Very good. Okay, let's unfold. That is just so cool. Okay. Hello, you. lined up here. I'm just going to use this to get started here. But So from what I can tell, it's um, this front thing, it's got these little scoopy blade things that go into the soil and I guess that's the weeder. It takes the tops off the thing. And behind that is some sort of conveyor belt thing that obviously goes into the dirt and picks up the spuds, which somehow make it all the way back here into this crazy belt system. I guess that's the big motor back there. Anyway, let's get it rolling. Crazy bit of kit. Okay, we're making potatoes, right? Yep, there they are. Alright, switch over to the helper. Very good. Okay. We're making spuds. All right, so this thing fills up pretty fast, so we gotta kind of stay on top of this. So. Let's go over here and get my little, uh, little cart. Now, yes, I could just drive the truck into the field and, and unload the uh, potatoes.
potatoes straight into that, but I kind of like making things difficult for myself, and I think possibly, I'm not a real farmer, but I think possibly that's why the, the real thing would do it. You wouldn't necessarily take the 18-wheeler into, uh, into the field with all the mud and stuff. Better to do it with a little truck like this, so I don't know. flag feel going on there. I'm going to mow that soon. Not sure how I feel about mowing an American flag. It's a, is that disrespectful? I don't know. It certainly looks cool. Alright, just ready to turn around. Now watch what it does here. Kind of curious. That is kind of actually doing what it should. The last field I was on, it was doing some crazy stuff. It's like backing over the uh, field and going the wrong way, and I was like, what are you doing? No, uh, that actually wasn't bad. It's funny, when I, want to, when, I, when I wanted to do something crazy, it doesn't look worse. Alright, let's unload here. Let's test my driving skills here. But <laughs> spilling a few. Okay, that's in the spud. Uh, yeah, okay, it's empty now, I think. Is it? Uh, yeah, looking in the upper left here, my, uh, my inspect mod. I'll just follow it to the end of the field. Then. That will go unload. It's about the right size, this trailer, for this job. It doesn't quite fill up, but, uh... Okay, let's go unload. Get it on the next pass. Alright, so this is not ideal, but it sort of works out. There's a scoop on the back of this thing, and it, uh... Now, ideally, I'd want to actually unload directly into that scoop, but it also picks up off the ground, kind of like the other conveyors do, do, do. So we're just sort of a bit of artistic license here, just sort of pretend. So get it up here. And look at it doing its thing. Working like a charm. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that. Yeah, it'd be nice to actually dump it straight into that little thing there, but pretend it's got some sort of vacuum thing on it. Yeah, I like that though. A little bit more fun than just, as I said, driving the truck. Oops, driving the truck right up to the uh, the harvester. Scooping it up. All right, let's go get the next load. driver, that's another mod I've got. Um, helper mod, it gives them names and stuff. It's a bit more interesting than helper A and helper B. Actually, I'm filling it up in the lower left there, you can see the helper's name is Philip. British thing. So he keeps moving. Keeps harvesting because the less time I have to spend leasing this thing, the better. So it is expensive. Not that I'm exactly hurting for cash right now. I've got like 751,000 uh, space bucks. But uh, 
Yeah. Gotta save some money while I can. It's a fine machine, yes it is. Yeah, I would have liked to try the other one. We use a tractor and you put on the, uh, the two separate harvesters. It's kind of fun, but uh, as I said, you can't use the helper. And that's kind of key to this whole thing is having somebody else drive this thing while you run around in the little, uh, you know, collecting the, uh, the spuds and transporting them and stuff. That's what I like to do. Going up and down the rows, not so much. Ah, uh, this is just sort of becomes a routine. Let's do this over and over until the trucks fall, of course. So I got one of those auger wagons over here, which I usually use for this sort of thing where I am. Uh, Harvesting wheat and corn and all the other uh, sort of grain stuff. I've got this thing. Um, but of course, this won't work with the potatoes because you can't, I assume you can't run potatoes and I guess sugar beet through an auger. It's probably not going to be good for them. So I was a bit disappointed to see this wouldn't do the potatoes. But So, next best thing, we're using this system here with the conveyor belts. And it's kind of fun. I like it. So my truck down there is getting almost full. It's at 91%. So I'll probably do a run with the truck in a minute. I'm just going to unload one more time here. Yeah, by the time this job is over, I'll probably get really good at this. But of course by then it'll be over. So yeah, speaking of getting really good. Ten percent, eight percent, seven percent, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, good enough. Actually, I don't want too much this load because uh, I think my truck is about full. It says ninety-one percent full on the uh, the main man truck over here, so I need to go unload that. Little saving glitch in there. All right, so let's dump this and then we'll go. Offload the uh, the spuds, and I'll show you where I'm offloading the spuds. Let's hop in the man truck here. Okay, coming up on full. Ninety six, ninety seven, ninety eight. One hundred, we're full. Okay. Question is, can we make it back in time? Probably not. Let's take our spuds for a ride here. 
Oh, I gotta clean this truck, don't I? That's all sorts of dirty. Alright, so I've got a, uh, another mod up here I'll show you in a minute. Because ordinarily there's nowhere to actually put potatoes and sugar beets. Uh, you kind of have to dump them on the ground, which is not ideal in my book. Especially when I got the seasons mod on and it like snows and rains everywhere. Although I do have, a, as I said, a snow masks, so as long as I can put them under something, they should be alright. So we're gonna head on up here to field, uh, what is it, eight. Where I have a little storage place to keep my uh, my potatoes and my sugar, sugar beet. So this is another mod here. I forget the name of it right now, but it's on the screen. And um, this gives you a place to dump, uh, you know, pick up and dump, and basically store your uh, your root crops, which is very cool. There's two doors back here. One's for picking up, and one's for dropping off. You can see like a little scoop funnel over there on the left. That's obviously for. up here, make this look good. Looks pretty good. I notice you can't get too close because uh, when the door opens on the back of the trunk, it actually uh, tends to clip into the building, which is not ideal. But there we go, yeah, see that's unloading into my... So I now actually have a potatoes count here, which is going up. I've got 200,000 potatoes, wow. Yeah, we're gonna have to wait and see when this is the best time to sell that. Start this other uh, thing that seems to be conflicting with it a bit, but uh, yeah, I don't quite know what's going on with that. But anyway, um, yeah, this is the time to sell potatoes, I believe. All right, unloaded. Let's head on back and see if we can uh, probably miss the uh, offload. Although it says 50% full, we can make it back in time. faster now that it's a... Uh... I've got a huge pile of spuds in the back. Well, of course it's tempting just to drive straight up to the uh, the harvester here and offload but, uh, straight into this thing, but this trail is actually pretty tall. It's, uh, it's a tall order to get under there, under that uh, harvester. Pop, pop, Better using the smaller trailer. Okay, looks good. Oh, that's weird. It stopped filling up. Oh, I think this engine's turned off on it. On the conveyor belts because we went out of range. What is a mod to keep your engines running when you go out of range? Kind of nice, maybe. Okay, let's go get the next load. Ah, uh, yeah, potato harvester is 68% full. That's uh, it's obviously done two runs while we've been gone. Up and down the field twice instead of just once. So this will probably fill us up completely here. We'll have to play catch up for the rest of this uh, harvest. Which is fine by me. Oh, yeah, I could have timed this better. What is it doing? I can go around that way this time. How does it decide? It like, seems random.
should fill me up, I think. French fries and all of a sudden. Supposedly potatoes are a really good harvest. This is the first time I've actually done potatoes. In over 800 hours of play. This is the first time I've done I've done lots of sugar beet though, so. Alright, we're full. And there's still 27% left in the, uh, the harvest, so. Okay. Yeah, I never did these spots before. I thought. Well, it's the price of the machinery really scared me away, but uh, now that I'm actually doing rather well on this map, and uh, money does not seem to be much of an object anymore. Mainly because I, uh, I own a lot of fields now. The only ones I don't have are the really big ones, pretty much. But all this stuff down, all this purple stuff's mine. Well, except for 20. Stuff here, yeah, I, I'm doing pretty good here. So, my goal is to have every map owned in Goldcrest Valley. I've done it completely leg legitimately, never cheated, never did any money uh, cheats or anything like that. Earned it all, I did. Gotta mow that field, yeah, I do. Once the flowers show up on the uh, grass, that usually time means it's time to mow. It's been the second mowing of the year. I one in the spring or summer, I guess. And the next one in the, in the fall, which is kind of nice. Alright, well, um, I think you get the idea. Um, I'm not going to make you sit here and watch the rest of this field, but uh, yeah, that's how I'm doing my potato farming. I'm sure there's a dozen other ways you could go about doing this, but uh, that's what I've decided to do this time around, which is kind of fun. Anyway, well, thanks for watching. Um, if you like this stuff, please subscribe, uh, give me a like, and I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments. Thanks for watching.